is certainly not new to the men's rights community and um, the topic of today's video literally upsets me so much that I feel the need to start this video with a disclaimer slash reminder that reminds you gentlemen watching this that you have value, worth, and as long as you're not a walking trash bag, you don't have to apologize. And you certainly don't have to apologize just for being a man. My name is Chloe Roma, and the Roma Army is my vision. We are not who society tells us to be, but who we want to be. We are a men's rights movement, and together we are strong. I am Chloe Roma, and this is my vision for the future. Super quickly on the topic of men. I was wondering if I could just take two seconds of your time to talk to you about fundraising for men. Yeah, there is an amazing nonprofit organization called Movember. It's international and it brings awareness to suicide awareness, health issues for men, mental health issues. It's absolutely amazing and we're super close to our 10 grand goal for donations. So if you've got $5 or a dollar, every single penny counts. So please donate, you can find the link below. With that being said, I better continue on to the video before some Becky goes on a date and uh, skips out on her bill by climbing out the bathroom window. She gets no dick. Let's go. You know, at first I thought this story was a joke, not gonna lie, but uh, a school in Australia held an assembly and had all of the boys stand up and apologize for being boys. Oh yes, this happened. That's right, you heard me correctly. A school in Australia had to issue an apology for holding an assembly and making the boys stand up and apologize for their mere existence. Miss Boyle, the principal, was under heavy scrutiny by the parents when their boys came home and said that they weren't quite sure what they were apologizing for and it wasn't properly reiterated to them what the assembly was really about. All they knew was they were sorry for being boys. Now, when this principal was asked what the hell she was thinking, uh, she said she was trying to hold an assembly to bring awareness towards sexual harassment and how to treat women properly. And I guess the way to combat sexism and oppression is with more sexism and oppression. Yeah, just of the opposite gender. Listen, is sexual harassment and just the mere way that we treat women in society, is that a problem that severely needs to be addressed and fixed? Hell yes. Uh, hell yes. Um, but these issues are also presented on the male side. And so to sit there and exclude them, alienate them, demonize them, and make them apologize for their mere existence is just backwards, twisted, and not how we move forward. Okay. Is there a massive divide between men and women? Oh, hell yeah, absolutely. Is it easy to close? Oh, hell no, absolutely not. But I know that it starts with two things, okay? Number one, we need to separate the him versus her, okay? And we need to turn it into an us versus them, okay? Because abusers, predators, and sexual assailants Users, gold diggers, and narcissists, they don't come in a specific gender or a specific skin tone, okay? It's a certain mindset. And both men, women, trans, non-binary, anybody can have those traits. And the faster that we accept equal responsibility, the faster these problems will close. Thank you. If you are still here watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet, why the hell aren't you subscribed, bro? But also, while you're here, you stayed this long, might as well. Please make sure that you check the link in my description. I have all of my social medias linked. I have my Patreon. My top tier of my Patreon is on sale, as well as the merchandise. The merchandise is on sale as well. So make sure you check the links in the description. Like I said, if you made it this far, you might as well subscribe to me. I mean, what are you doing? Come on, hurry up. Are you getting no dick?